let's get into Miguel. Girl, Miguel and his wife, what's her name? Um, Nazani. I hope I said it right, Nazani. Okay, so anyway, Miss Mandy, that's his wife. They've been together for a very long time. Like, I feel like they've been together for about like 13, 15 years, very long time. She was with this man when he was down in the trenches, okay? Um, she's always wanted to be married. I'll never forget she did a show with Megan Good's sister over there on the E-Network, I believe. I forgot the name of it, but it was pretty interesting. She really wanted to be married to him. She was waiting for him to propose to her. I feel like she may have gotten the proposal, but they took forever to get, you know, married. Then they got married, from my understanding, in a small ceremony. And what was interesting was like a few months ago, I thought, was it this year or maybe it could have been last year, where she was pretty much alluding to the fact that they were separated and they was going to get a divorce. Then that went away. And they were back all together again. And then now here we are. So nobody should really be surprised that these individuals are getting a divorce. They're saying Miguel's wife, Nazan and Mandy, files to divorce singer after three years of marriage. Damn. You would have thought she would have realized during the dating phase how long she had been around him being caught out there cheating and stuff. I think she was supposed to be working on her musical career, but sat back and let him go forward and do his thing. And I think she could have ended up modeling or something like that. So it's like, girl, you really should have known a long time ago, but you really just solely wanted to be married to him. And I mean, the heart wants what the heart wants. So that's what you went and got. And unfortunately they are getting married, uh, you know, getting a divorce three years later. And it's sad to see all of these divorces popping out the sky. But I must say for Miguel and Nazanin, whatever gonna make her happy, I'm with it. Cause I, I feel like she wasn't always happy in that relationship with Miguel. I think she loved him very much, I do. But I think that um, she stayed with him off of history. I think a lot of women do that. They stay in these relationships based off of the history that they have with the person, not so much as the true happiness that they have. And um, it really sucks. But if that's what she wants to go off and live her life and be free and be happy, girl, go do your thing. I feel like even with them divorcing, they probably still going to be best friends. I, I, you know, I do. They said at least uh, they said at least heartbreak can provide some good material for future songs. Singers, singer Miguel's wife, a model, Nazanin, has filed for a divorce. So she's 36 years old. She filed for a divorce papers on Tuesday and cited irreconcilable differences as the reason for wanting to terminate their union. The documents obtained by ET do not specify a date of separation. Instead, the section reads TBD for the time being. The documents also state that a prenup is in place. The pair has also shared no children, okay? She never had any children. I do wonder if that has anything to do with her filing for a divorce. Y'all been together this many years. Y'all haven't had any kids. I'm wondering, okay? They said Mandy took to Instagram on Monday to share a slideshow of snapshots, including a famous series of photos of Nicole Kidman, all right? Um, who pretty much finalized her divorce with uh, Tom Cruise uh, back in 2001 or whatever. So I guess that was her way of saying, girl, it's on the way. It's on the way. Miss Girl captioned that post by saying, listen, I don't want it all. I just want what's for me. Now, listen, girl, I'm going re to recycle that. Okay? Now, now if y'all see that under one of my posts, just mind your business. I don't want it all. I just want what's for me. Period. Okay? Now, she also goes on to say, in a world that profits from um, different things, a woman embodied in her truth is a wild and powerful force. I know that's real, girl. Do what you got to do. Let it go. If it ain't serving you, honey, Going on about your business. Now, even though I'm sad about divorces as a whole, like, dang, they just falling out the sky. Like, what the hell is going on? For them, I'm not that sad. I'm not that sad. Because it was something we saw coming down the pipeline. And I feel like Nazani is going to be very much so happier once she moves past this relationship with him. Um, if you check out reality gossip, um, real, I'm sorry, it's called real reality gossip on YouTube. Love, love that channel. They kind of go through the series of their relationship. So they give you details that you may not have known about their um, relationship over the years. And it's, and when you listen to it, it's kind of like, yeah, girl, you should have been opt out. You should have been left. Like it wasn't, it wasn't going to go nowhere for real, for real, girl. Okay. Because he's been up and down when it came to that. You feel me? So I think that Miguel may be made and created to just be so Solo, okay especially with how long it took him to actually you know propose to her and finally you know commit to her in that manner so either way girl good luck 